Hey dudes, what's up? It is your buddy Keith and I am here live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England, baby. South End on Sea to be precise. And what do we have here? What does your friend Keith have to share with you guys today? Probably one of the most famous stages in the world ever. A small part of it here. I want to show you the rest in a second. If you're new to the channel, hit like, smash the subscribe button, come join our family, our circle of friends here on the internet. There's about 8,000 of us now. I'm going to show you some of the coolest, rarest instruments, the coolest new bands, the wild memorabilia and artist-owned gear that we get from all around the world, and just cool stuff in general. So, uh, yeah, I've been hinting about this, and I've been dropping a few cues over the past few months about... Uh, some cool stuff that we've got going on here at Essex Recording Studios. One, we're opening a venue next door, massive hard rock cafe style pub and venue. It's uh, it's called the Railway Hotel. You can go on Google and have a little look at the Wikipedia page for it. It was built in 1876, has four stages. We're going to put on some massive gigs for all of our artists and everyone who wants to come play to uh, a British audience. Absolutely. And another big thing that we've got to uh, help inspire artists that come through these doors is we have the stage, the original first stage the Beatles played on for their very first advertised show at Latham Hall in Liverpool. This is amazing, guys. This is uh, from before they were called the Beatles, and they also played 11 shows as the Beatles on this stage. All of them. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, George Harrison, all of them stood on this stage and launched their career from these little planks of wood. How wild is that? If that doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what will. I'm going to go and, uh, you know, it is at the end of the day, it's old Victorian pine. There's a video online of it being pulled up from Latham Hall where the uh, owner talks about it. A small section off the stage sold at Julian's Auction House this past October at their annual Beatlemania sale for tens of thousands of dollars. That was a small section of the stage. We got the rest of it, which is huge. It's huge, guys. There's 40 more pieces. This is the smallest part that we have. That, this is what we could fit in the uh, control room. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay it down, and it's going to be the floor for our live room. James wants a bit more reflection. He wants a wooden floor for where the drum kits are. So when you come and perform and record here at Essex Recording Studios, you get to play and record on the stage that launched the Beatles' career, where they played 11 times, guys. That is insane. You know, I'm, uh, whew, I get chills. I get the, I get the goosebumps. Just thinking about that, I'll, uh, I'll show you a little bit more of the facility that we've got here. This is the former Essex Radio, Essex FM radio station. You can see it there. The building, I think, was called Radio Hall for a period of time. The whole thing had hundreds of people in here working with, I think, about 17 radio stations. Daily Mail owned this building. And this is where, this is probably where we're going to lay down the floor in this room here where the drum kit is. Uh, we might also be moving the control room to a different part of the studio and using that as the live room. So we're going to play around. We're going to do some spring cleaning over here. Got the new couch, the new Gibson coffee table. Awesome. Some of our cabs in the hallway. Got some guitars getting shipped out. Got some coming in. And so this is a little storage area we've got right now down at the studio. Loads and loads and loads of guitars. Don't mind the mess. There's a lot of stuff from the old radio station, some of the old uh, racking and gear and, and stuff. But this is the rest of the stage. It just got delivered today. We're storing it right here. Man, absolutely crazy. I mean, there's still, you know, I guess like part of the carpeting or something that went on over it there. The Victorian nails. Because this, this uh, Latham Hall Sure, that the Beatles were playing when they launched the career, but obviously it wasn't a brand new place. It had existed as a, as a hall and a public meeting place for quite some time before that. And it's all original. So, so cool. Right on. 
Got our old Beatles fridge. This we're going to uh, probably build a mix room in here and a writing room. But yeah, guys, a little bit of hype, a little bit of cool news to brighten your 2021 as we continue to deal with this ridiculous coronavirus. Uh, Stevie Wonder tour jacket. This is actually from our engineer and producer, James. This was his dad's. He's uh, His dad's an awesome chef. And he cooked and I think drove the tour bus for Stevie Wonder on that tour in 81. Very, very cool. So you've seen the rest of the studio or a lot of it in some of the other videos. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. And I uh, just wanted to say hi and share some some cool news that, that we're really excited about here at the studio. I hope you get... Uh, a kick and a thrill out of this as well because I think it's going to be really special when you can go put your feet on these bad boys and rock out and just be inspired and get creative and know that there is uh, the soul, the energy, the cosmic karma of one of the most successful bands, if not the most successful band in the world, kind of right there next to you. Really cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go do some guitar videos, do a bunch of admin stuff here at the studio, get this venue up and going next door. So uh, let me at it. Enjoy your weekend. It is Saturday today, although I don't know what day you're watching this. I guess I've got a one in seven chance of getting it right. But if you're watching it now, have a great weekend and I'll see you all soon. Make sure you follow us here, subscribe and follow us on all the socials. It's at Essex Recording Studios. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We do a lot on Instagram. You guys have been really awesome messaging us. Let me let me just show you some of the, the front and back sides of this. This is what the backs of uh, these look like. I think this one's a back right here. And yeah, there's the front. Looks like old. I'm going to get some pine. Maybe you can guess how old it is. I don't know if you can count the rings or how, how the, that uh, sorcery works. But... Uh, yeah, guys, really appreciate all the support and all the social media. We actually just posted a picture of this on our Instagram and shared that out on Facebook. So we'll uh, we'll see what kind of response this gets. I think some other people are going to get really, really excited about all of this. It is wood at the end of the day. I get that. But we needed wood to do the flooring here at the studio. And I couldn't think of anything cooler than this. I wasn't expecting to do it. Didn't know this existed. Didn't know it was an option that was available. I went to a very famous guitar auction here in the UK, maybe the most famous one, and bought a load of amazing guitars. And then this was featured. I was blown away. I said, oh my God, James has been yelling at me like, Keith, we need to buy some wood flooring for the studio. And I saw this and I said, this is uh, you know, this is a sign. This is the universe telling us we, we have to have this. And now we do. How cool is that? So I hope when the, the, the lockdown lifts, you guys will come and visit us. Uh, you know, we're right next to the South End Central train station. We're real close to London. We've got an airport right here with real cheap flights from all around Europe. So you guys are always welcome to come in, pop in, say hello, have, have a look at all the cool stuff we have, dance around on the old Beatles stage. And if you want to record with us and book some time, we, we'd love to do that too. You know, we've, uh, we, we can't wait to hop back on the saddle and get back into the swing of things once this lockdown is lifted. All right, dudes and dudettes, I will catch you all later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.